I'm hearing there's like four of us that are going to be retiring, and I'm going to go through here and talk about each one of them. Don, I hope I don't have to teach your classes next year. Mrs. Biggs, you scared the crap out of me when I first got here, but uh, I grew to love you. Miss Biggs um, hired me um, almost 12 years ago, and I came to Creekview as her secretary, and I was her secretary for five years. Uh, Mr. Blow, a lot better tennis player than you think. And during that time, um, I had my third daughter, Hannah, who adores Miss Biggs, but calls her Miss Miggs to this day, just as a little joke. So, Miss Biggs was a Girl Scout, and Hannah is a Girl Scout, and Miss Biggs gave Hannah her 100-year pin. Uh, I know her 50-year pin, because this was the 100th year anniversary of the Girl Scouts. Mr. Elkins, I remember you the very first day that I stepped to Creekview when we went on the retreat. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Um, but Jenny, I'm going to miss you, I love you, I thank you for this opportunity that you've been wonderful all these years to me and my family, and I've always said that Creekview and Will um, fall down without you. Hello administrators, I just want to say thank you for all the work that you guys do here. Uh, Creekview would not be the same without you guys, you know, you're going to be really missed, and uh, uh, we really learned a lot from you guys, and we've really learned um, that it's all about family, and you guys are, will always be a, a part of this family. Thank you, Miss Biggs, for everything you do for us. We really appreciate you, and we're gonna miss you so much next year. Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, Miss Biggs. Mrs. Biggs, we're going to miss your institutional knowledge that goes back not only to the founding of Creek Creek, but perhaps to what Native Americans or dinosaurs used to roam on this uh, vacant land. Uh, Ed, this is where I usually saw you, right here at the copier. Skip, right through that door, always at your computer, typing away, looking at your screen like you were doing something. If you need a future job, I'll give you a recommendation to American Airlines at the front counter. They seem to do the same thing. And Don, uh, this especially location for you is uh, I already have an agreement with uh, your college that if I need to make extra copies, they'll let me come in anytime and break in ahead of you. Have a happy retirement. Hey y'all, it's Coach Holbrook. Uh, I just want to say congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for all your time in the last two years. Cause... Well, Jenny, um, it's been a long 14-year journey for the U uh, you and I. Um, I really appreciate all you've done for me and helping me become a better teacher. You've always had a positive attitude and it's really rubbed off on the staff. It's going to be very difficult to see you go, but um, our, our time together has been very eventful and very good, and I do appreciate all that you've done for me in my career and helping me to become a better teacher. And now I want you to go and enjoy your retirement and do not worry about education again because you've certainly earned it after 42 years. So Jenny, I love you very much. Thank you for all you've done and have a wonderful retirement. All right, bye Jenny. Hi Jenny, I just wanted to say congratulations. What an awesome accomplishment. I also wanted to tell you thank you for interviewing me and hiring me and being a part of that. This has been a terrific year and although I haven't had tons and tons of principals, I've had several and I know a good leader when I see one and I just wanted to say thank you for your leadership on our campus. Your hand goes far beyond just your office. Goodbye everyone. I hope y'all had a wonderful retirement. It's been awesome working with you. Let's move on to better things. Bye. Jenny and Skip, Ed and Don, thank you, all of you. Uh, the like long time serving in this district. And I miss you all of you. And good luck for the like your new, you know, like uh, lifestyle. And I have been a Greek view. Uh, since 1998 with Jeannie and uh, Jeannie and I really appreciate working with you. Uh, I, you advised me and guided me a lot and especially like uh, I enjoy working with you like uh, for your our advisory uh, I mean the class. Our students will miss you too so Probably next year, what should I do? Am I alone? Good luck, all of you. Thank you. Hey Biggs, congratulations on retiring. You will be missed. Loved you much. 
You know, when I first came to Creepview, I thought you hated me. Well, we know different. But you will be missed. I do love you. Enjoy your life. We're all sitting here talking about Jenny and some of the good old times that we've had with her and some special moments that each of us have enjoyed. And so I'm, I'm going to go first and I'm going to tell about the moment when Jenny starts school. She comes in with a kinder, gentler attitude and she wants to keep that up and she tells us this. And so three weeks into the semester I go into her office and I go, Jenny, I have this student and he has a 38 in the AP class and I really think he needs to change. Well Jenny's response is, Carrie, what are you thinking? We have, we, the year has just started. We have plenty of time. Are you crazy? We're not changing his schedule now. And so I turn and gently walk out of the office and down the hall and then this is Jenny. She rolls her chair out and she goes, Carrie, thank you. <laughs> so that was Jenny trying to be her kinder, gentler self. That's my, my story for Jenny. And you're good whenever. Okay, so we're all talking about Jenny and we all have had our moments with her and we all know she will go off on you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> and she's especially fun at 504 times. So I remember this one time, just out of the blue, I get this phone call from Jenny. I pick it up. Kanika, why don't we have a 504 on so-and-so? He's on my list, but we don't have anything for him. And I kindly tell her, Jenny, he's not in my alpha. His last name starts with N. And she goes, oh, quick. And yep. hangs up the phone. <laughs> At the time when you're going through it, you're scared out of your mind. But after you have time to process and think about it, it is hilarious. <laughs> and we all laugh about it to this day. <laughs> Go. Okay, so I've only known Jenny for this year, but I already have a couple of stories with her. And um, several times this year, I've been sitting in my office talking to a kid, whether it's about something academic or a schedule or having a real heart-to-heart -heart about an issue. And then all of a sudden, excuse me, I hope this isn't personal. I just need to get, I need to look at these choice sheets. And I'm looking like, okay, and my kid's just staring at Miss Biggs and she's going through my binders looking for a paper and she walks in and out and doesn't say anything just gets what she needs and walks right back out. Hi Jenny, you know we all have our moments with you and I think that it's just your personality that makes us laugh so much. <laughs> but I want to share one of the, my favorite moments, uh, well I have many, but one of my favorite moments is the day that you absolutely lost it when you came into my office. <laughs> So I'm going to just reenact what my perception of that day was. I'm sitting at my computer, working diligently, and here you come, Jenny. i got to open the door for this. Love it! Really? Why is this parent still calling me? What are we doing about this kid's schedule? <laughs> She is driving me crazy! <laughs> Good God! Can you please just fix it? <laughs> please! And as you were doing that hissy fit, Jenny, I think my look at you was very calm as I just slightly turned to you and said, by all means, but I never touched that kid's schedule. That's the way the computer put it in there. I'm happy to do a fix for you, though. <laughs> do you remember that day? Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> Jenny, we love you, and we know that you are going to have a glorious retirement, and we know that you will not be gone from us for long, because I'm sure you'll be back. We'll be seeing you next year. But, you know, we always know that you like to have a song and a dance that's just in your nature. So, we have a special treat for you. Yes, we picked we out do. something. Okay, Jenny, this is dedicated to your Woodstock days from all Woodstock. of us. Well, shake it up, Jenny, now. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Jenny, now. Come on and work it on out. You know you look so happy now. You know you look so happy now. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. 
<laughs> going now, just like we knew you were. Shake it up, Jenny now. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Jenny now. Come on and work it on out. You know you were just so good. You know you were just so Jenny, we know you love to dance, so we hope you're enjoying this. Here we go. Aww. Retiring? Are you kidding me? Actually, congratulations. You all, all the retirees, you are so lucky and so deserving and I hope you enjoy retirement. The two administrators that are retiring, um, Jenny, Skip, best of luck to you. You will be missed. Now, for my associate principal, Jenny Biggs, it's been a true blessing to work with you and to share everything that we've done together uh, as administrators. Um, I'm going to call you. Um, I'm going to hound you just like you were hounding me with that text message last night at 4 in the morning. Um, but really, thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, I wish you the best. And we'll pass our chalk on to somebody else to carry the reins. Creekview is a better place, and the students you have touched are better off because of everything that all the retirees have done. Thank you.